adventurers, welcome back to Adventure Craft. I'm your host, Nathan Maker. Today we're going to be doing one of our looks back at my crafting history. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a prop that I made for a science fiction costume I did several years ago. There was a convention coming up and I didn't have a costume that was really where I wanted to be. I just started getting into watching the show Firefly on DVD and I really liked it. I liked uh, Malcolm Reynolds so I thought I was going to do that. The costume wasn't so difficult. I went to a thrift store. I bought uh, maroon sort of button-up dress shirt, some suspenders. I had khaki pants that I sewed some brown stripes on the sides and my regular brown boots that I wear with a lot of my costumes. But what I really wanted to do to sort of seal the deal was carry the famous Malcolm Reynolds pistol. And uh, well, they had them that you could buy online, but they were pretty expensive, more than $100. And they were made of cast resin, which looks great. And it's great if you're just gonna sit it on a shelf, but I was gonna walk around with a lot of other people, maybe bumping into people. I've since worn the costume two or three times this at uh, Renaissance Fair and things like that. And so I really wanted the pistol to be durable, something that I wouldn't worry about getting it caught on something or dropping it or whatever. So here's what I did. I made this prop pistol out of regular plywood. What I did was I found a photograph of the gun, the prop gun, and I blew it up actually on my computer screen, just zoomed in on it, taped a piece of tracing paper onto the computer screen, just traced it right on there. Cleaned it up with a ruler a little bit to get it straight and even and looking good. Then traced it right onto the plywood. So that was the outside shape. Then I started doing a little bit of detailing, which was mostly paint. Uh, spray painted the whole thing brown and kind of did a little bit of masking and patching some, some gold details on here. Uh, a couple of silver details too. But here's the really fun thing, because there was so much detailing in here, and from what I saw on the show, it wasn't very clear what the details were. I couldn't find a lot of photographs online, but I had sort of an idea. So here's what I did. Right here, that's just a piece of wood, sort of the size of like a ruler. I had one that was maybe 10 inches long, so I cut off maybe two five inch um, lengths there. And then I found, gosh, I don't even remember where I got these. It's just like a door stopper, you know, where the bolt, when you close the door, the, the bolt from the doorknob goes into the side there. And here's kind of a smooth area so that that bolt can slide in. Just screwed that on there. And just those two pieces really give us a lot of sort of science fiction-y gun detailing. This here's a wooden peg that I just put in to look like a screw holding the whole thing together. Uh, someday I might put another one right there in the handle. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and it's really durable. This is not like one of those cast resin things that if you drop it, oh no, it broke. Now it is wood, so it's not going to be completely indestructible. So there you go. There is the science fiction uh, Cowboys in Space Malcolm Reynolds Firefly Pistol. If you have any questions or uh, maybe, maybe what I'll do is attach a blueprint, an outline that you can trace and you can go ahead and um, make your own. Maybe I'll do that down below. So thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next week 
I'm looking forward to next week's project. I hope you are too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Remember what I always say, every day can be an adventure. See you next time.